Don in London, hello, March 31st, 2010. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour, or recovery from both substance and behaviour addiction. For me, my substance was alcohol. My behaviour, well, addicted to people, places and things. Work, relationships, collecting, materialism. Trying to fix myself so I felt okay and felt happy. And these days, I just try to keep sober, one day at a time, so I don't need fix anything. Just live life, live life experience as it is, and find a balance in there by understanding what is possible and what is not possible. So just learning one day at a time how to be sober has helped me immensely in living life in balance, emotionally, physically and spiritually. So emotionally, how am I feeling today? Well, a bit wiped out, a bit healing, broken foot, metatarsals displaced in several directions. So that's okay, but it's a, it's a gradual process and any form of walking is quite difficult. So emotionally, how am I feeling? Okay, a bit tired. Physically, dealing with it as it is, and spiritually, maintaining my presence in the present moment of now my spiritual connection if you like is reality as it is without putting filters in the way so my biggest filter over the years alcohol take the edge off feel right get myself fixed be able to do things which maybe i wouldn't otherwise do because of fear and anxiety so these days what helps me keep sober friends family community and fellowship and that fellowship is AA Alcoholics Anonymous I don't speak for AA and never can never will full of unique authentic people who can speak for themselves <coughs> excuse me so how does how does sobriety work for me how does life work well if I share the AA preamble it sort of gives the game away about what it's like to get sober and how we keep it and then I'll share one of the readings from the AA Fellowship Literature, which is all about letting go and letting good things happen, which is the, I suppose, has been the topic of March. So first the AA preamble, and then some literature, and what's going on. Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other, that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution. Does not wish to engage in any controversy. Neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. So for me, a fellowship unique authentic people with a similarity a desire to stop drinking and we share experience strength and hope and how we do that on a daily basis or we just turn up to meetings or we use the toolkit of the AA program the 12 steps to keep us in a place of balance just simply in balance for today and life experience is that sometimes there are extremes and balance goes out the window but with a toolkit which can recalibrate us or get us back on track soonest rather than later or with an urge to go backwards into addiction then life works life works sober and that is the greatest gift that's been given to me in my later life so how does this happen well this card which I read from the AA preamble which I just shared also has the 12 steps of AA and the 12 tra steps of 12 traditions of AA as well and much I concentrated on made a decision to, to turn our will and our lives over, over to the care of God as we understood him and the care of God as we understand him is simply letting go and letting good so whatever our understanding of a higher power be it God or good conscience or a connection to the good of living it works because we get context and stop self-obsessing 
I'm just going to self obsessing. It's very easy to do that because we see the world as how it impacts on us, not necessarily how it impacts on everybody around us, around us and how we fit in. So really fellowship is about how to be included, how to make good choices and how to experience fellowship, friendship, love, how to be loved, loved back and useful in life. Useful in the context of having a happy life or as happy as it can be based on the experiences we have around us. So we're not in a place of wishfulness or dream worlds, we're in a place of reality and coping with reality which as one Archbishop said, spiritual is the ability to cope with now. Simply that. So we all learn gradually that spiritual is a one day or in the moment experience. And sometimes spiritual is awful and sometimes it's absolutely wonderful. And hopefully most of the time it's in the middle, in balance. So I share daily reflections, this book, from the AA programme. Again, I don't speak for AA, I share how it helps me on a daily basis with this similarity of sobriety. I can't speak for AA or the unique authentic people in it, so I never do. It says here, March 31st, letting go and letting good things happen. No one, no one denied me love. On the AA calendar, it was year two, a newcomer appeared at one of these groups. He soon proved that his was a, de was a desperate case, and that above all he wanted to get well. He said, since I am the victim of another addiction even worse stigmatised than alcoholism, you may not want me among you. Well, of course we would. It's all about recovery. And it goes on to say, I came to you, a wife, mother, woman who had walked out on her husband, children, family. I was a drunk, a pillhead, a nothing. Yet no one denied me love, caring, a sense of belonging. Today, by the grace of God, or God's grace, and the love of a good sponsor and a home group, I can say that, through you in Alcoholics Anonymous, I am a wife, a mother, a grandmother, and a woman, sober, free of pills, responsible. Without a higher power, I found in without a higher power, I found in the fellowship, my life would be meaningless. I am full of gratitude to be a member of good standing in Alcoholics Anonymous. And I guess that was written before the other fellowship sort of came into being. Because there's a fellowship for everything these days, be it substance or behaviour. And whatever our primary addiction is, for me I feel, the 12 steps are okay. They work because we work at living sober. So whatever our substance is, but the same, mine was alcohol. It could have been drugs, heroin, or something similar. Same outcome. Self-obsession, self-harm, self isolation, exclusion, unloved, and un unable to care for myself. That, that's where it gets us to. So it doesn't matter what the addiction, substance, or behaviour is. It's what we do about it. And I learned I couldn't do it on my own. And that was my breakthrough, if you like. I tried self-will beyond the pale and it took the kindness and love of others who had gone through that transition from being completely addicted into recovery one day at a time. The time frame is important. If we try and change everything in one day we will surely fail but if we change gradually and with care and love and support we have an opportunity to keep life sober. What more can one say? Anyway, end of the month. Let go and let good. And as I say at the, the end of these videos, to the understanding that you come to around a higher power, and for me it's good conscience, a connection with God as I understand it. For me it's God is truth, God is love. God works through people. Very simple, very straightforward. And the serenity prayer, which is for me to use to help me in any moment, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference, for me, is always just for today.